the fix, sir. All right, good evening and welcome to Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu. And it's a beautiful Thursday night, and I'm happy, I mean, Tuesday night, and I'm happy to be here. And I'm talking about to be happy tonight. All right, so, um, you are welcome to my show, and um, I want to start tonight's uh, show by oh, there's something I want to say, and it's keep my mind, but. If you uh if you uh if you are in a bad relationship or in a bad marriage, um I just want to encourage you to understand, okay, that if you want to make it work, it's gonna work. Okay? So I said this a lot of time that even if which is not so good which is not i mean a so good scenario even if one of the party is not ready to make it work no one of the parties is indifferent and the other party is ready to make it work it can still work it's only not going to work when one party is saying i don't want it to work and the other is saying i want it to work so in a not so good scenario, one party could be saying, I'm indifferent, and the other party could be saying, I want to make it work. But as long as the two of you are saying, even though it's bad, right? The marriage is bad, the relationship is not looking so good. But the two of you have something that you think you cherish and you don't want to let go. Something you want to fight for, something you want to make sure um, it works. It's going to work. So... If you make up your mind to make it work, no matter how bad. So, if you are listening to me and you are in a relationship or marriage you, that looks so hopeless, so um, so bad, so terrible, that it's, it's, it's making you to be sad instead of being happy, and it's taking, you know, your joy or happiness away from you, fine, it's bad, you know, it's really bad. But if you want to make it work, it's going to work, all right? So, the point is, what are you doing to make it work? So divert your energy to looking for something to do to make it work rather than looking for, look, rather than whining and crying and fighting. Divert your energy to making it work, all right? If you want to make it, no matter how bad, I don't believe there's any relationship or marriage that cannot be worked on. As long as the two of you are ready to make it work, it's going to work, all right? So it's on that note, I'm going to be welcoming you to Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu tonight. And I'm talking about a very nice topic that I've prepared for you. I think you're going to love it. It's, and I want to conclude it tonight, you know? Yeah, I hope so. I need to. And, you know, so I think it's something that is going to benefit a lot of people, especially the male folks. And, of course, the female folks, I mean, you should be happy about this. Most of the time we talk about things that help the women on this show, but... It's like women, I don't know, maybe you are struggling to call in or women are just so, so secretive or, you know, so pretentious. Most of the time we pretend about these things. So, so whatever it is, this is going to help both the men and the women and majorly for the women. Tonight I'm talking about how to make a woman happy, all right? How to make a woman happy, okay? So next week i'm gonna be okay on thursday i'm gonna be talking about how to make a man happy so you don't want to move a muscle you want to stay with me you want to learn you know it, it, it sounds um <laughs> very funny i mean it looks so simple but it's kind of com complicated making a woman happy might look so simple but it's kind of complicated all right so tonight i'm going to be talking about it and you are going to be rolling with me okay Let's go. The fix, huh? All right, you are welcome back to my show tonight. We are talking about how to make a woman happy. All right. So, yeah, it, it looks simple, like I said, but somehow it, it, it sometimes it could be a bit complicated. All right. A writer said, "I'm going to read this." You know, a writer said, "And I quote: Women are like puzzles." They cry when they are happy. They go silent when they are mad at you. And say things are okay when they are clearly not. 
it is a waste of time for men to try to figure them out. But then again, few things are more pleasant than having an happy woman on your end. All right? So it's a common saying. I mean, how many times have you asked your, uh, your wife or your babe, like, are you okay? And she said yes. Most of the people say when you ask a woman if she's okay and she's saying yes, please ask again. Ask over and over again. Actually, that's what she wants you to do, to ask again. So when you say, are you okay? She said, yes, I'm fine. That I'm fine is saying 1,001 things. And most of the time, men are feeling like, these people, why is it so difficult to understand them? What do you want? I'm giving you the old word. What are you looking for? Why are you so unhappy? All right? So tonight, I'm going to be telling you, even though you have been, you know, struggling with it, you have been feeling like, ah, ah it's so difficult to please these people. Follow Dr. Tolu tonight. Let the fixer fix this for you. All right? Okay? Actually, women are very simple, but at the same time, very complex. Most time, you know, men worry their head about, you know, how do I make her happy? What does she want? What do I do? You know, especially when you care about the woman, especially when you're in love with someone, you want to make sure the person is happy. So it, it becomes a headache if you're in love with someone and you're doing everything possible to make the person happy and the person doesn't seem to be happy. So a lot of men are in that situation. I don't know what she wants. I've tried my best. How do I make her happy? All right. Now. Have you ever noticed that, you know, why sometimes a woman, may, you know, she may have the old word, you know, and everything might be, you, you might look at her and feel like, oh, big car, lovely building, you know, rich babe, wearing designers and everything, but she seems so unhappy. Have you ever noticed that? I mean, you see a woman that you look at and you feel like, in fact, you see the husband, you feel like, oh, cool guy, handsome guy, and then you look at the kids, you feel like, oh, lovely kids, and then you look at her. She's unhappy. And then you're wondering, why is she unhappy? I mean, she has a seemingly beautiful life that, I mean, people, any, any woman will give anything to have that kind of life, but she's still not happy. So you're wondering, why is she not happy, all right? You begin to wonder, what's she looking for? Why, why is she not happy? You know, that's why like, that's you get to see some men, I've given her everything, you know, she, she's this, she's that, she has this, but she, still, she's still not happy. Why? Now, I mean, it's a common saying that women are moved by what they hear, right? We say that a lot of time, and men are moved by what they say. So maybe you should consider that as your first step to understand what women want, what make a woman happy. What are you telling her? All right? Now, this is it. Funny enough, <laughs> in fact, I said this several on this show, your marriage is your life. Not just your marriage, your relationship. So it determines whether your life is going to be beautiful, or whether it's going to be bad or ugly, whether your life is going to be happy or sad, whether your life is going to be... In fact, I, I said it before that your relationship is going to determine whether you're going to make heaven or not. <laughs> if, As in, it's, so, it's such a serious thing that you don't want to take lightly. Your relationship is your life. That's just that's just the just just the conclusion. So the way we, it's not something. So when you know when Doctor Tolu comes to this show and I want to talk about these things, I just want you to understand that it's deep. Replace you know I said something on this show. You know, I, I was talking to a pastor friend and then when we were having a discussion, she was telling me, "Do you do you know that you know that the word of God says something that you know there's four things I can't remember four things that you can't understand right." You know, four things, maybe the path of a snake on the rock, the path of a bird in the sky, you know something? And the fourth one is the, is the place of a man and a woman. It's common, it's so deep. It's deep. And because of how important this is, your life is attached. Your destiny is attached to the kind of man or woman you are seeing or you are living with. It could make or mar you. It could, it, could, it could change your life completely. It could, I don't know how to explain this. You know, so it's so important. So that is why if you have a sad woman, possibility the possibility that your life is going to be sad is very high. Because, funny, I mean, it, it's just logical. Happy wife, 
happy marriage, happy marriage, happy life. Okay? So, if everything is going on, every other aspect of your life, your work, everything is doing well, if you have a sad woman in your end, it might be terrible for you. It might be very bad for you. All right? So, because you want to have a happy life, even if you don't love her. Now, two ways. If you love a woman, you want to make her happy. You want to do everything to make sure you are seeing smile on her face. But even if you don't love her, you find yourself with her. The fact that you are, you are stuck together <laughs> means that for you to have a happy life, this woman needs to be happy. All right? So I'm going to be telling you the things you could do to stop worrying your head about how to make a woman happy. All right? Let me tell you a funny story I remember. Okay? About a faithful man of God, you know. Not, not a man of God, but a servant of God. Somebody who has been serving God wholeheartedly, very dedicated, very loyal to God. And, and you know, but the only area of his life, everything was working out well for him, but the area, only area of his life where he was having problems is with his marriage, with his wife, with his woman. And he tried, like, I want to make, he's doing everything, but it's not just working. What does this woman want? What do I do for this woman, you know? So we're like, I don't know what to do. I think I need to talk to God about this. I think God is going to help me out because I'm, I'm tired. And we're like, this thing is so difficult for me. Huh? Will God be able to do this anyway? I don't think there's anything that is difficult for God. Let me just ask God something very, very, very difficult. When I ask God something very difficult, hey, and I will now understand if God can do that for me. If God can do that very difficult, then I know that this little one, I will just ask. So he said, so if you got it out and he said that, it might be too easy for God to answer this question. So he decided to ask what he think is very hard for God to do before asking his main question, which he think would just be a non-issue, right? So he asked God. He said, God, you know, I've been very faithful to you. And I've been a very good child. I've been very obedient and dedicated. So if I ask you something that seems to be very difficult on earth, will you do it for me? And God said, mm, yes, my son, you've been very faithful. Then he said, God, you know I want to build my house in the sky for the whole world to be able to see. I want to come down to earth whenever I feel like without having to climb any ladder. And I want to, I don't even want to fly. I just want to come down, find myself on the uh, on earth when I feel like I go back to my house in the sky. I want to be able to control the moon and the sun so they don't disturb me. I want them to come out when I want them to. And he said, God, do you think that is too much? And God said, uh-uh, you'll be so loyal. Is that all you want? Granted, my darling. And God said, it's granted. And you're like, wow. If God he said, God said, because you have been very faithful, you know, your request is granted. And he said to himself, wow, if God can do this so terrible, God can grant me this terrible request, that means this one is going to be very simple. He now said, okay, God, do you know that? Uh, I have just one more very simple, you know, just nothing that I want to ask you, just very simple request. And he said, I just want to know how to understand a woman. And God said to him, <laughs> We said, my dear son, even I that created these beings, I'm still learning how to understand them. <laughs> God is almighty. It's just a joke anyway. But the truth of the matter is, if God, I mean, Eve, remember the story of Adam and Eve in the Garden of Eden? Eve made Adam. I don't know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm believing that. I mean, God should have like, all this, you know, women, I, I think this is, maybe this is, a, this could be a very logical reason for that joke. You know, maybe that was why God feel like, I don't understand because I don't understand why I've told Eve not to do something and just a common snake, you know, serpent would tell her to do otherwise and she would do otherwise. You know, you can't fathom that. You know, and then after doing it, after making herself to commit that terrible thing, he went to go and meet Adam and said, Oh boy, come and shop. <laughs> you know, women are very powerful. In fact, let me not even go to that. You know, the influence of women or men, you, you know, you can't overemphasize it, really. All right? 
So if I've been trying to figure it in your head, what exactly do these people want? As funny as a sand, it costs just very little. It takes very little to make a woman happy. And very little. I think you might be thinking, oh, it's so difficult. Nobody can understand it. Very little. That is why, you know, most of when you look at these guys, you know, these kind of men that you call playboys, you know, those boys, you call wrongs boys, I mean, you know, playboys, you know, you just notice, look at them when you were in the university, those guys, they don't have money, they don't have anything, but all the girls are running after them because they understood what women want. So it, it's not about money. It's not about buying out the word. There are things that can't and somehow they don't cost much. And those are the things I'm going to be talking about tonight. I just hope you'll be able to find one or two things helpful on this point that I'm going to be giving you tonight. You know, I remember one song. One when I was young, my dad used to play that song. You know, this Orlando Orwell song about um, women. I can't remember very well about uh, how um, I can't remember a king as. Uh, three children, you know, Oriwe, Iwarewe, you know, and the three of them died, and there is a tear, you know, a tear is like, is like disrespect. And when, you know, when they wanted to bury Oriwe, I think they buried, Oriwe is like, you know, good luck, buried uh, at the palace, or maybe at the, at the in the palace or something, uh, you know, but why they wanted to bury disrespect? They were looking for the right place to bury her. They couldn't find anywhere. And then they gathered all the women. I could remember that song. And they told them to sit together and they buried her in their laps. So the song was saying that is why you notice that even the most powerful, the most powerful of all men, that's why you see, <laughs> I'm diving into where I don't want to dive to. You know, see, when men say they are powerful, holy, a woman asks, women, I call it power of influence. As a woman, if you know the power you carry, let not go there, all right? So, in fact, it is still that power that will make the life of a man to be miserable if he's in love with someone and the person is not happy. If he's in love with a woman and the woman is not happy, his life will be miserable. So, probably you're in that situation and you're thinking, okay, Dr. Tony, tell me, what do I need to do to make her happy? What are the things that... It takes to make a woman. If you say it doesn't cost much, yeah, I'm going to run through them and I'm going to tell them it doesn't cost much. Number one, just be yourself. Be yourself. Now, stop. Stop. You see, there's nothing that you, you could have a sad, dejected woman in your end for the rest of your life if you get married to a woman through deceit. Everything about you it is by the time, I mean, by the time she now got married, she starts seeing a different person. You know, just be yourself. A woman that found out, you know, that everything you told her about yourself was not, the, I mean, men, open up about whom you are. You're going to be in that marriage for the rest of your life. Whatever secret you are keeping, whatever it is, tell her. If she want to be with you, she's going to be with you. I remember I used to have a client. Yeah, I have a client. Actually, they got married through me. I'm going to tell you this. It, my, my matchmaking clients. I don't know if I've ever said this on my show before, but there is room to say that tonight. All right? This guy cannot impregnate a woman. She can sustain erection, not so much anyway, but at least she can still sustain erection. She can make love to his wife, but she cannot. She, I mean, it's, it's been confirmed medically. They've done everything, and they've said she has. He has taken everything. I don't know, but he just knew that he can't father a child. And he came to me, he also told you, this is my issue. And I'm like, I don't know. I mean, even for those that could father a child, I am not God that gives us man and wife. I just try my best. So I told her, I told him, who knows? You could find a woman who will love you for just whom you are. At least you could make love. It's just that you can't father the child. All right? So I am not the one that is going to test you to confirm, but I mean, from all the results he brought, he has done everything, he has gone everywhere, and he's been confirmed to him, you know, he can't have a child. And he was already going to, I think about 55 then, all right? And I told him, okay, fine, let's see. And then, uh, the, and, I, and I look at the ladies on my list. That's why I tell people, for every man there is a woman, and for every woman there is a man. 
and I noticed there's a lady who is already about 50 years old. When I asked her about kids, she told me, I don't even know Dr. Tolu, I don't know if I can do IVF, I don't know if I can have children, but I would rather go for adoption than all the stress of trying to make babies. And I told her, ah, there's a guy who cannot even impregnate a woman. And she's like, fine, you know, to, <laughs> to go for. <laughs> but that was it. Now, imagine, imagine a lot of marriages are in that situation. Imagine a man, you know you cannot impregnate a woman, you got married to a woman. You got married to her. You know you cannot even sustain erection. You got married to a woman pretending to be whom you are not. You know you are addicted to masturbation, to pornography. You got married to a woman. I mean, come on. You, you know you are in. You you know you want. You don't want to be with a, 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 with the opposite sex. You see, go ahead. I got married to a woman. How do you expect that woman to be happy? This is number one thing. If you want a woman to be happy, be yourself. Don't try to be someone whom you are not. It will backfire. And you are going to be sad. She's going to be sad for the rest. No matter how hard you try to make her happy. Deceit and lie is a total turn off for women. When she finds out, she will despise you. And, and there is nothing you can do to impress her. So if, uh, if you have your way with a woman, through this means she might never forgive you for the rest of your life, for the rest of her life. So come on, be yourself. Don't say my father is this, your father, my father is the owner of uh, MMA2, my father is the owner of Babish. <laughs> just be yourself. Let her just be with you because she want to be with you. That is why I tell them, young men that are always uh, writing to me, Dr. Tolu, I don't know how to toast her, I don't know what to tell. Just be, because you are trying to be whom you are not. Be yourself. You know how many you have just one pair of trousers. Let her know. For me, no big guys that ladies are running after. They don't even have all the money. They don't have all the clothes. But they know what women want. Be yourself. Women love it when you are genuine. When they see the realness in you, they will run after you. And that will make them to be happy. Be yourself. Don't pretend to be something else all because you want to impress her. At the end of the day, it's going to backfire. You want to have a happy woman in your hand. Be yourself. Number two, reassure her. Now, you know, most of the time, men will tell you, huh, you know, buy her buy clothes, buy her bag, buy her shoes, buy her the whole house, buy her cars. What is she looking for? Now, see, if you love a woman, or if you are with a woman, it is very, very important for you to let her know. I don't know what, funny enough, I say this a lot of times, but it looks like it's not a man thing, okay? Men feel like, ah, ah, can't you see I love you? Am I not doing everything to make you, sh to let you know that I love you? But please reassure her. You are in the midst of your friend, you cannot talk about your wife. You are in the midst of your friend, you cannot talk about your woman so that they would not think, oh, she's a, he's a woman rapper. Come on, reassure her. Be proud of her. When I say reassure her, be able to tell it to her. Whether she's there or she's not there, be able to tell it to her or to people that cares to listen. Reassure her. Tell her, baby, I love you. Those of you that are listening to me tonight, when was the last time? When people, when you make calls, even couples, when they make call and they drop their call, they cannot even say, I love you. And you want the woman to be happy. How will she be happy? And those are the things that count for women. I mean, we said that women are moved by what they hear. You cannot psych her. You cannot tell her, babe, you are beautiful, babe, I love you. Babe, you are this. I remember, you know, there's this common jokes. I think most of us know it. About a meeting, a gathering where there are women. And, um, I mean, where there are a lot of men. And then they ask them, and the man in charge, I think the teacher now asks them, uh, when was the last time you told your wife, oh, I love you? And everybody were like, ah, uh, I told that this morning now, uh, last week or yesterday, and yesterday at this morning, everybody this morning, uh, yesterday. Okay, the man said, okay, all of you, pick up your phone and send I love you, text I love you to your wife. As soon as they texted I love you, he collected the phone and dropped it. After a few minutes, the messages, the response were dropping. So the man picked up the phone and tell someone to read. One of the women will say, <laughs> which day did that one start now you know the other sent i love you and she like which day did that one start another one said ah 
you come and you, you, are, you sent me a wrong message. You think I'm your girlfriend. You come and meet me in this house. Another one said, uh, wrong number. Another one said, I think you miss road. Uh, what do you want again? You want says this mind? You know, it, those are the kind of questions that they were coming back because they are not used to it. You see couples, you tell them, you are talking on phone, you are dropping your phone with your wife. You cannot even say, babe, I love you. No. In fact, some of them will say, I cannot even call that sweet name. I didn't see my father or my mother calling themselves sweet name. Her name is my wife, Mama, Mama, <laughs> Mama Judy. <laughs> Don't mind me. Come on, tell her, call her something nice, something beautiful. Reassure her. Tell her you care about her. Let her know you understand. Let her understand that you truly care. Reassure her. Always reassure. Women need not just assurance women need reassurance constant reassurance you know after some time if had a marriage women tends to lose um what do i call it self-esteem no not really self-esteem but women tend to lose the the pride you know to lose um let me call it self-esteem okay but that is actually not really you know fatness growing aging and all that Every time you still see her, you still need to reassure her. I still love you. You are still beautiful. I love the way you look. She will go to salon for money tonight. She will come back, you know, with bread. And she will be flaunting the air. You are not even seeing. You are not looking at it. If you want a woman to be in love with you, to be happy when she does all this to you, that is why all these bad boys, those that's the things they know how to do. Oh, babe, your hair. That's why when you're, when you're babe, put beautiful picture of new and then she said you know no thanks to social media she just put oh new made new hair a lot you know she put it on her social media new hair a lot and she put it there when she got home and she's flaunting the hair for you you didn't even notice and then the guys you know the ox <laughs> yeah, so she'll be there like, oh babe, I love your hair, your hair is so beautiful and she'll be blushing. The husband cannot tell her. The man cannot tell her. You cannot reassure her. You need to learn to do that. Those things make her blush. Those things make her feel happy. Those things make her, you know, feel like a lady. You need to learn how to do it. Number three, be a good listener. Now, you don't, you see, this, when I'm talking about listening, do not listen to a woman's problem. Listen to her feelings. Men of this time out to listen to your woman's feelings. In fact, most of the time, even if you don't want to listen, pretend as it because women always want good listeners. In fact, one of the reasons why your baby is sleeping away, why why is sleeping out of your hands is because there is a man somewhere who is always giving her listening ears. You know, when she has something that is bothering her mind, she needed to talk to someone. There's somebody that is like, babe, what is it? Talk to me. Even if it's, you know, just to listen. Listen. Be a good listener. All right? In fact, it doesn't mean that she has not been thinking of how to find solution to her problem. She just wants you to listen and share in her fears and worries. Awful time, you know, why, why you are telling, you see, let me tell you this. Men... The way men are wired, men want to like, tell me your problem. Let me fix it. You know, so forget the details, how it happened, how they, you know, what, what, what is the problem? Problem, solution. The man doesn't want all the things in between. But for a woman, it is those things in between that counts. The feelings. Hey, yeah, I know you're like, it's like, oh, hey, my car is bad, and uh, I, and this, this, I suffer today, I did this, all the thing I did, I did, and the next thing the man is saying, where is the car now? Where is the car? Oh, in the mechanic, okay, I'll call, I'll call uh, Kingsley tomorrow to go and fix it. That is not what she wants. She wants you to say, oh, how manage? Where did it happen? How did you cope? How did you get home? Oh, my gosh. Oh, you must have been so tired. That's all. She doesn't, she, she might have even fixed the car. She must even figure out, she must, even, must have even called Kisley. Those are the things that make a woman happy. Make her elated. Make her feel on top of the world. It doesn't cost much. It might not even, it doesn't, now, compare, in your case, your own might be, you have, you, you, maybe to fix the problem with that car is 100K. So you have, your own is, I need 100K. That's the main thing you had as a man. But for a woman that for a man that would stand out to make a woman happy, is thinking about, oh babe, 
How are you feeling? Do you need a massage? How did it happen? So how did you cope? You know? So the woman is not even thinking about the Andre K. She's, she's solving the Andre K problem by herself. So most of the time we think it's about money. It's not about the money. The playboys don't have the money. He doesn't have the money to give to her. But he gives all the attention, all the this, and the lady is bringing out the money from her pocket. You don't understand. Be a good listener. Share in her fears and in her worries. Listen to her feelings. Not just the problem. Okay, it is not always about fixing things, it's about the feelings. Number four, remember women can feel differently about sex. Okay, you know that Dr. Tony is a sex therapist, and I can talk about sex from now till tomorrow. This is a very powerful topic. Now, men need to understand that it takes a longer period of time for women to get aroused compared to men, you know. So, when it comes to sex, take it easy with her. All right, take it easy. Remember that she feel differently about sex. In fact, this one, I can never overemphasize it. Because a woman who is always making love for, for you will never be happy. Just understand that she feel differently. Show a kind of concern. Show some, some like, care. Let it not be that love making is always about you. Let it be about her as well. If you want her to be happy, it's not just always about lie down, come, lie down, come. For what? She want to be happy. If she want her to be happy, understand that she feel differently. I know you have an erection and you know you want to quickly jump. You don't have time for all the paparazzi. But the paparazzi is what is working for her. And you're not doing it, she's not going to be happy. Understand. If you have that understanding at the back of your head, your woman is going to be happy. You are taking your time to take her there. She's going to be happy. Number five, admire her beauty. is very close to uh, what I talked about before. Reassure her. And when you are doing this, when you admire her beauty, try to be, truth to be truthful about it. All right? Now, you see, it's very reassurance when it comes to look is very, very important to women and it's a very serious factor in making a woman happy. All right, you need to let her know, babe, you are beautiful. I like your hair. She's telling you, oh, babe, do you even like my clothes? Do you like what? She said, ah, just, 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 just let's go. Ah. That kind of a woman, she's sad already. You've taken her joy away. But even if she's not looking good, they're like, oh, babe, maybe you can just adjust the uh, end of that top, or maybe you can wear that black, this thing, you know. She knows you are showing concern. She knows you are interested in her. Admire and beauty, her beauty. You know, look at her. Take your time out. You know, just look at your babe and say, na me, only me, na me get this, this, you know, see, na me, God, give this. You know, when you say that, in the, a woman, you know, I have it just be swollen, you know. Just, just like look at that, see my babe, you know, see, see my see my babe, you know, admire her beauty. If she's looking beautiful, try and let her know. Tell her if there are things you admire in women outside, in men, you see, I tell women a lot of time. You see, <laughs> this one is very funny. Women, you see, those things that men don't want you to do, most of the time. Because they are visual beings. When it looks good, when it looks beautiful, when it looks sexy, they are going to admire it. Even though they don't want you to do it, they are still going to admire it. You see? So, those things that they are telling you, babe, don't do it, babe, don't, I don't like it, for, forget it. Forget it. When they go outside, because they are visual beings, whether they like it or not, when it's sexy, there is a way it makes them feel. They are going to look at it. So don't mind them. So the point is, if there is something you see that you like outside, the wivon, the braid, the top, the dress, the shoe, buy it and give it to her. In fact, it will make her know that you are showing concern and she'll feel very happy. Little, little things that can't. Number six, provide her with emotional security. <laughs> You see, I can, I don't know. You see, this emotional security is very, very technical. 
But this is the major thing that women want if you want her to be happy. Appeal to her emotion. Appeal to her emotion. Flow. You see, when it comes to when it comes to fulfilling human being, you know, to fulfilling our emotional being, our emotional needs, we need to get it from someone. We need the opposite sex to provide it for us. And it matters so much for women. Connect, connect to you know where she she where 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 um where, where she get weak, you know, where she get weak, where she says, babe, I love you, how are you doing? You know, connect to her emotion. Connect with her, not just physically, not just when you want to have sex. You see, when you are connected to a woman emotionally, when it comes to love making, before, before, look, me looking at you, she's getting wet. As difficult as it is for women to get wet, if you know, if you understand how to connect to her emotion, you connect to her emotion, when you want to make love, you don't need to do, you don't even need to do too much for play. Looking at you, she's wet already. Connect to her emotion and she's going to be happy. Number seven, I want to conclude this actually. Ah, wow. Uh, okay, I will stop at number seven. <laughs> so I can take your comments. Do not rebuke her openly. Do not rebuke her openly. Now, you want a woman to be happy. She has done something wrong. Please, take it home. When you get home, you could talk about it. To know you, be, it kills a woman. She has gone She has gone to the market. She has done everything to make soup for you. And then the first thing, as soon as you put the first spoon in your mouth, like, ah, why is the salt like this? In the presence of everybody. Maybe your family, everybody, uh, your friends were there. And they're like, ah, why is this sort? At least make, there's nothing that kills a woman more than that. Nobody is saying you shouldn't complain, but this woman has put so much. I remember the story of a burnt biscuit. I remember the story of a burnt biscuit. And, you know, there was a woman, you know, that made, she baked biscuits. And uh, she made the biscuit, but she, because she was doing so much. You know, taking care of the house, putting the clothes in the washing machine, doing the dishes, preparing so many things. I mean, do so much at the same time. The biscuits she kept in the oven got burnt. And when it's time for dinner, and that biscuit was actually made for her husband. So, and I mean, for the family. So when it's time for dinner, she served the biscuit and all the kids were like, no, 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 I can't eat this, I can't eat this. No, 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 mommy, this thing is burnt. And, but the husband kept eating. And one of the sons like, Dad, why are you eating the burnt biscuit? The dad, father said, it's sweet. And we're like, Dad, how could you say that? And the man looked at the son and said, you don't know the effort your mother has put to make this, thing, to make this biscuit. And I know she wouldn't want it to be burnt. And that is why I have to eat it. That is the story of the burnt biscuit. You know, but most men, you kill your woman's spirit. She will never be happy. Maybe she's elated, you know, you know, human and doing all that when she's trying to make the food, you know, blah, 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 you know, making the food for you, stressing, sweating, and still making it. And then she puts it after all that and she puts it on the table. And the first thing you are going to taste and you say, ah, this thing doesn't have maggi. Fine. If it doesn't have maggi, come on, just eat. Even if it's something, if it's something pepper or so, something you could add, you could say, oh, uh take just keep it in like take like two three and tell some oh can you get me small salt you know it's better than for you to say oh this food oh, the pepper no too much oh the salt no too much you know and you are saying it you are not just saying that you are saying it in the presence of everybody you are killing her spirit all the the the, 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 the happy this thing she just come down and imagine if these things keep happening after some time she become a sad person you know you want a happy woman reassure her appreciate her and do not rebook her openly even if she has done something wrong you see there is something about having somebody being in love especially when it comes to marriage it means that if the whole world is standing here the the whole world is standing here your woman is standing alone you will leave the whole world and be on our side that is what a woman wants do not rebook her open. Even what she has done is wrong. I remember I was telling one of my clients that, you know, marriage, you know, because she was like, Dr. Tulu, how is, how is marriage, you know? 
And I told her, marriage is beautiful. It comes with its own challenges. And sometimes it could get boring. When it gets boring, you spice it up. You look for how to spice. You look for there are a lot of things you could do to spice it up. One of these I'm going to be talking about to spice up a boring marriage, okay? Because I know a lot of people need it. It could get boring 10, 15, 20, 30 years with one person. It could get boring. But you look for a way to spice it up, all right? And then you look for, you know, there are things that you know. Anyway, let me even not go to that side. But you look for a way to spice it up. But the consider considering the ups and down you know the challenges that comes with marriage if you look at the fact that even if the old world is against you there's just one man there is one man that will always say i'm with my wife there's nothing that makes a woman happy more than that you know everybody is saying ah tolu is saucy ah tolu doesn't talk to people tolu doesn't do this and and tolu's husband is saying I just love my wife. She's the best. It doesn't mean she is not seeing my flaws, but it just loved me for me. There is nothing as beautiful as knowing that somebody got your back, even if the whole world is against you. Do not rebuke her openly. In the presence of your neighbors or your colleagues, don't do it. Even if you are going to do, do it truthfully when you are alone. She will appreciate it and she will feel so happy. You know, I remember, I remember a lady that wrote to me and said, Dr. Tolu, help me. She's so sad. She's so dejected. Help me. Every time if she, they stay in a yard, you know, in a yard where they have, you know, face me, face you, and they fight. And every time they are fighting, when the husband comes, the husband will be talking to her, you, why did you do it in the presence of all the... So she, everybody in the neighborhood, will not, in their compound, will not be looking at you to see her, see her, you know. Imagine, tell me how that kind of a woman would be happy. But if it's someone that, when the husband comes, they know that if the husband comes out, you don't know the husband, she will, will always support. There is nothing that makes a woman to be as happy as that. All right? I can't take much. I actually have 14 points. I've given you seven. I was thinking I could, I mean, finish this tonight. But sorry, let me take your calls because I know you want to say something. You have questions you want to ask me and you have comments you want to make about this topic, how to make a woman happy. And then I'm going to be picking your calls at Tabo's time, man. All right? The fix, son. All right, you're welcome back to Intimate Talk with Dr. Tolu. We are still talking how to make a woman happy tonight. And I just hope I've been able, you've been able to pick one or two things from what I've said. I'm going to conclude this topic on Thursday. I still have seven more points. And you just need to know that it just, I mean, you, at the end of the day, you notice that it doesn't really cost much to make a woman happy. Little things that ordinarily to men doesn't count are the things that really count for women all right so before i pick your calls um remember i'm going to be talking about the dating party and i'm going to be having a promo okay so uh people are already paying and i've said it if we are not up to 200 we are not going to have that dating party it's for the benefit of everyone just for me and just for you too but at the end of the day it's all about making sure you're happy so I want you guys to please make your it's just five k. It's a token. You cannot even prepare the event itself. Imagine where we're going to keep two hundred people. I mean, a lot of um, logistic involved, you know. So you guys should just do what is right, okay? And uh, but I'm just trying to see I can make people to uh, make their payment on time, so we could know whether we're going to do this or not. All right. So um, I'm considering like if you're going to pay. Between now, okay, today is what? Today is Tuesday. If you are paying between wed Wednesday and Sunday, okay? Yeah. Between Wednesday and Sunday. When is Wednesday? It's already Wednesday, okay? 19, between 19th and 23. If you are paying between 19th and 23, you're going to have a free. <laughs> you're going to have a free access to Intimate Matchmaking website. All right. So I'm going to be giving you free access to Intimate Matchmaking website if you are paying between now and 23 for the dating party. And if you want to pay for the dating party, all you need to do is to text dating party. You can even WhatsApp. Her name is Juliet. You can WhatsApp her. You can call her. She's the one planning the event. 
on or you can text dating party to 080 308 67983 that's Juliet's number 080 308 67983 whatsapp I, or text dating party to Juliet you want to be a part of it and as soon as you make your payment between now and Sunday you have free access to intimate matchmaking dating side all right isn't that interesting okay so let me pick your course and before we move on so we still have some time to take some calls and i think we should do twitter tonight all right guys tweet at me i'm going to be reading them tweet at me at itw to know of course you can send your questions to instagram intimate talk with Tolu or facebook intimate talk with Tolu. But I'm going to be doing a lot of tweets. I mean, reading your tweets tonight. Let's see. I really, I'm not good with tweets. I'm learning. <laughs> All right. Um, so you could tweet at me at ITW Tolu. ITW Tolu. I'm going to be reading your tweets, okay? So let's roll. Let me pick your calls, okay? How could somebody be calling my. I mean, don't do that. Hello. Hello, good evening. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Sorry, brother. Good job, Dr. Tolu. Thank you. God oh, bless you for us. Amen. <laughs> My name is Isaac. Okay, from? Uh, I'm calling you from Ikoi. Okay. I live in Nigeria. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Doctor, um, my question is, what about the case when you are having sex with your woman and she's not even responding as if you are doing anything? In that case, what do you do as a husband? Okay. When you are making love to her, she never responds. Yes. Yeah. Apparently, she's not enjoying it. She's not enjoying it. Yeah. Do you know that? No. You don't know if she's not enjoying it. I don't. I mean, if if a woman is enjoying sex, you will feel it. You will know. She's not enjoying it, and you need to find out why. And the reason why she's not enjoying it could be so many. So you need. I think the right thing to do is to talk to a sex therapist. She might not be enjoying it. Maybe she's angry with you. Maybe you are not doing it the right way. Maybe she has been telling you this is the way I want it, and you have been saying, and you have been doing it just your way. After some time, she'll stop talking, and then she just allow you to have your way. That's the way Nigerian women are. I want it this way. Can you do it this way? And you are always like, this is the way that is convenient for me. So after some time, she'll just leave you to do your thing. Or oh, maybe you have hurt her. You've offended her. But majorly, she's not enjoying it. And there must be a reason why she's not enjoying it. You need to find a reason to find a solution. So you might actually need to talk to a sex therapist. All right. All right. Thank you for calling. Oh, sorry. You're still saying something, but sorry. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. I'm still a young boy, but I'm addicted to them. Okay. Uh, to the extent that I'm, uh, I, I can find it difficult to talk with girls. Hmm. But once I just have the power to watch the video, I can get them, I, I can release. Stop it. Yes. Okay. So you want to stop it? I try several times to stop it, but I can't push stop it. Okay, so I'm going to drop your call and answer your question, okay? Now, masturbation, pornography goes ends and ends. And <laughs> now, it, it's all like you have been struggling with it. You want to stop it and you can't. So now, Dr. Tony is just telling you maybe for one minute or two, five, 30 seconds, I'm trying to answer your question that this is what you need to do to stop porn. Something you are this addicted to, it's not that easy. That's why when I want to talk about topics like that, I want to just be sure. That's why, why when everybody kept asking me about premature ejaculation, I keep telling you, hold on. Because by the time I'm going to talk about it, I want to break it down. I remember I talked about masturbation on this show. 
and I've talked about, I don't know if I've talked about pornography, I'm not sure. I think I should talk about that. Porn. Let me talk about porn. You can hardly talk about porn without talking about masturbation. But I remember when I talked about masturbation, I talked about it for almost three weeks. So that at the end of the day, you know, it's, a, it's an holistic approach. So that at the end of the day, you could say goodbye to that particular problem. So to answer your question, it, I don't think it's something I could just answer. Do this, do this, do this. No. You need to keep listening to this show. And I think I will go back to masturbation because it's like the demand. A lot of people are joining us now that are, they were uh, they were not with us before. And people are really requesting. One most popular topic, masturbation, pornography, premature ejaculation. I think I will do that again. All right. So I'm going to read my tweet. Uh, this is from Son of an Architect. Thank you for telling us how to make a woman happy because it's no easy. Some of us who are dating and learning a lot from you. My bae is writing them down and checks if I do some of the things you are saying. God bless you for us. Amen. Have a successful week. <laughs> Thank you, son of, son of an architect. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, talk by Angela. How to make a woman happy is being humane, caring, romantic, generous, and more of a selfless and putting her into your plans all the time. Thank you, talk by. Uh, Akiru Mio Mishagun says, well done, Dr. Tolu. You are doing a great job. More power to your elbow. Thank you. The light shame says, good talk, but my question will be, despite your efforts to make her happy, nothing you the result. Is there any way out? Two things. Now, two things. If you are trying everything possible, it's either you are not doing the right thing, or you need to ask her what she wants, all right? So maybe you might, you know, you think you are doing the right thing, but might not be what she wants. So you might have to discuss with her what she wants. That's one part. Number two, she might not be into you. She might not be into you, all right? So you could also find that out. Number three, she could have her own problem. As long as you could try as much as possible to make a woman happy, you can, you could add to her happiness. But if she can't find happiness on her own, it's going to be difficult. All right, but you see, if she's finding happiness on her own and you are helping her to do all these things, her life is going to be beautiful, she's going to be elated. But if she's trying to find happiness on her own and all these things are not coming, you could be reducing the capacity to be happy. But if she can't find happiness on her own, on her own, and you are doing all this. It might not work. So those are three things. It could be that she's not into you. It could be that you are not doing what she wants. You might need to talk to her about it. And then number three, it could be that she has issues that she needs to deal with personally. All right? I'm picking another call. All right. Hello? <laughs> Should I drop it? Hey, no, no, no. I can't tell you. Hey, no. Good evening, Dr. Perry. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's eh? fine. It's fine. I, I, I you want to tell I me your name? Okay, okay, my name is, and I'm calling from Ojo. Okay. Um, please, if I tell you I love you, don't be offended. <laughs> it's okay. I the all the whole things I'm learning from you. I don't know how to tell you. Oh. <laughs> Whenever I listen to you, you make me feel like. I don't know. I have learned a lot from you, only that. I have not seen somebody to be practicing or I have been learning. Mm. Mm, you been so so you should be at the dating party? Mm? You should be at the dating party. Mm, that is time. I don't know when we are doing it. And so I, I'm going to drop a number to call, okay? Okay. All right, for the dating party. Then another thing is this. Okay. You have teach men how to make a man to be happy. Okay. But you do not teach women how to make men happy. You know everything. I, I, I said it at the beginning that after this, I'm going to be talking about how to make a man happy. Everything I talk about on this show, I do both sides, both male and female. So, the ladies first. So, next we're going to be talking about to make a man happy. Okay. But I want to get my own wife. You will get. That's why I said come for the dating party. Okay. Hello. Hello. Good evening, ma. Good morning. Yeah, my name is Femi. I'm okay. calling from Shasha. Okay. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just too lucky to have met your program. Uh, I was actually waiting for uh, 
Mr. Daniel, Mr. Daniel Stroya. I never knew that you always have your own by this time. Oh, this is your first time? What do you say? I said, this is your first time. Uh, this is my first time. Oh, first time. you've been missing, but you're welcome on board. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, man. And I was with sincerity. You are, you are really doing a good job, man. Thank you. Thank you. You are doing a good job. Ma, I have a concern. Okay. I, uh, my name is Femi, actually. Yeah. I am an accountant. Okay. As I'm speaking to you, this is time for me to study. So I study from 11 to 3 every day. Wow. Interesting. Mm, that's what I do. So, hmm. uh, I just met a lady. Okay. Um, so, w what happened is that we've been we've known each other for a long time. Okay. We we're just friends. Right of recent, I had to tell her what is in my mind. Okay. And we both agreed on one condition or the other. Okay. But uh, of recent, she advised that we should go and pray over it. I, I'm not a fan of that, but I just had to like in, uh, inform my friend's mom who okay. happens to be an evangelist. Okay. And she told me that uh, it's advisable. Uh, I said, Ma, uh, I don't believe in it. She said, No, don't say you don't believe in it. <laughs> just try. Okay. I said, Okay. And I did. So well, yesterday night we discussed about it, and she asked me about what the outcome is. I told her what the outcome is, and I asked her about her own outcome too. She said something that really caught my attention. Mm. She said um, she was told that uh, she, we should be prayerful, mm. that uh, it will get to a stage when, so that it will not get to a stage when I will be tired of the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> So, you see, this, this, this is one of the reasons why I don't like doing those things. Mm. But uh, I don't know. I ask her, what do you think I can do? Because I ask her that, what do you think I can do for you that will make you feel sad? Or is there anything that, I can, that you can do for me that will make me feel sad or feel so tired of the relationship? For you, I don't know. For me, I have not seen any. Mm. I've not seen any. Even if but it happens, I mean, life happens, challenges, relationship will always, there will be time of trials. So it doesn't mean because, uh, I mean, come on, <laughs> it's okay to pray, fine. But uh, for him to now be saying, uh, I mean, for her to be saying, uh, they said you're going to get tired at a point. If you get tired, it, then you, you, it could get boring, and then you spice it up again. I mean, come on. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Thank you very much. It's because all right. I told her. <laughs> yeah. I told her. I told her that even our it's, it's, my it's own part of life. life. Relationship. You can't go <laughs> exactly. because you you gone to pray to see a pastor and then your relationship yeah. will be will be smooth all the way. No. There are times that you're going to have crisis, and then you're going to, you, we're going to skate through it, and then you move on. Exactly. All right. Thank you very Okay, much, thank you for thank coming for me. Thank you so much. And you yeah. too. All right. Okay, I want to take one more last call. It's like the callers are feeling Dr. Tony is going. All right. Okay. We are the tweets now. Okay. Kindly keep me anonymous. Nice talk to you, you had today. I've been battling with a relationship. Where she's showing some, where she's showing some signs of depression. I've been trying all I can, but no avail. We started pretty well, but I don't know how to how we got to this point. Please, please, see a counselor, see a therapy. You can talk to me about this, all right? So you need to schedule a good appointment, a proper appointment, and take her out, okay? Please, so uh, as Akola said, women also should make us happy, <laughs> of course. Uh, Philip said, "Good morning, love, doctor. You are doing a great job." I've learned a lot tonight. I wish I could date someone like you. <laughs> they are there, oh, good. I tell you, ladies. I tell you. I, mean, I tell you guys a lot of time that the good girls are in the matchmakers' office. So they are in my office. Register for an intimate matchmaking. You'll be fine. Okay. Every church says, "I told you your program is very educative." Thanks. Keep up the fire. Thank you. Okoli Joe, my first time on the show. Oluchi got me to listen. Kudos on the great effort. I have to find happiness someday. You will. You go. You will. You will. Joe Govera, enjoying the show. My book goes soon full. <laughs> Women are sophisticated and complex and simple at the same time. But even with the daily or zoo, we go try. Thank you, Jay. All right? Thank you guys for joining me. One last call before I say good night. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Finally, I have a woman. You see why my instinct was telling me to pick the call. <laughs> I've been trying the number since. Oh, this is my first time of calling. Thank you. You're welcome. What's your name? Yeah. My name is Yoni from the Korea. Okay, Yoni. Yeah, you have been doing a great job, and I really appreciate it. Thank you, darling. Thank you. You're welcome. Please, I I think I've entered this digital stuff. Okay. That you put it last week, Tuesday. I don't get that. Before I, before I got married to my husband, I'm a customer that I, I quickly... Oh, my gosh! Oh. Okay, Yoni, you know what? Send me your message on Facebook, okay? Send me your message. I would love to attend to it. I'm sorry, guys. The lines. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Push it to the end of the month. We are going to be having open mic Thursday at the end of the month. So you can ask ask all your questions. But that is all I will be able to take tonight. All right? Don't forget that you can, if you want to join the dating party, all you need to do is to text dating party or WhatsApp dating party to 080. 3086798300306793 and like i said if you register between now and sunday you're going to have free access to intimate matchmaking site all right free access instead of paying like 2010k okay all right thank you guys for joining me and of course if you have any question you want to ask me you want to schedule an appointment with me you want to talk to the fixer that's what they call me you can reach me on 081 Eight four five seven five three seven seven. I take it again zero eight one eight four five seven five three seven seven. Or visit my website intimate solution network dot com. Just the way I said it, intimate solution network dot com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, all at Intimate Talk with Tulu. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you to all the guys in the studio for making it happen tonight. And before I go, here is my food for thought. My food for thought for tonight. Women are made to be loved and not to be understood. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to see you on Tuesday. Have a successful night. To enjoy more of this, our will go get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.